Hello and thank you for joining us on Grand Sumo Highlights. It's day eight, the halfway point of the July tournament at the Aichi Prefectural Gymnasium in Nagoya. Only two Dikishi have protected a spotless record after seven days, including this man, Ozeki Terunofuji, who's gunning for his promotion to Yokozuna, the pinnacle of Grand Sumo. The other man is Yokozuna Hakuho, who is making his comeback after multiple sideline tournaments. And looking at the leaders board, following Hakuho and Terunofuji is thoroughbred youngster Kotonowaka with one loss. We kick off our day eight highlights with Tokushoryu, three wins, four losses, locking horns with Aqua, four and three, who's competing from the second highest Jiryo division. Let's get it started. Tokushoryu goes inside with that left hand inside grip, doesn't have any part of the Mawashi, but tries to get Aqua high, but at the end it's Aqua using that Hatakikomi slap down for the victory. Tokushoryu goes into a four-bout losing streak. Aqua moves to five wins, three losses. It's now Tsurugi Sho four and three versus Chiyomaru with a mirror record of three and four. Chiyomaru has a slight three to one advantage in their meetings in the top of the division. A rather slow Tachiya initial charge. Tsurugi Sho backpedals and then takes care of the man in green by a Tsuki Otoshi thrust down. Tsurugi Sho secures win number five in July and his 300th career victory. We move to the battle of the Uras. Ura, four wins, three losses, clashing with Ishiura with the same record. Ura beat his foe in both their matches in the top Makunoji division back in 2017. Ura starts way back from the Shikirisen lines, but then Ishiura goes inside, gets that left hand inside grip. Ura trying to counter here. The fans love it. The Battle of the Uras, a slap from the right by Ishiura, and that takes Ura down the dohyo. Clean hit by Ishiura there. But Ura seems okay. Ishiura takes the matchup and extends his winning streak to five. Ura goes to four and four. Next up are Dai Amami two and five versus Tochinoshin, also two and five. Georgian Tochinoshin took care of his foe in their very first meeting last tournament, where he thrusted him down by Tsukiyotoshi. Shifting a little to the left is Dai Amami and getting that left hand outside grip. But Tochinoshin also likes that stance and hurls him down with a Shitatenage underarm throw. Tochinoshin eager to bring back his style of sumo by securing a solid grip on the Mawashi. He finds a good Shitate grip. And gets the win, improves to 3 and 5. We now have Ichi Yamamoto, 5-2, going against Kaise, 3-4. Kaise from Brazil locks horns with the sole rookie to the top division for the first time in Makunochi. Ichi Yamamoto wants to fend away Kaise with his pushing and thrusting to prevent him from snatching his mawashi, or belt. Ichi Yamamoto initiates with a double hand attack. He backpedals but circles around well. He dodges Kaisei's attack effectively and wins by Yorikiri. Yeah. 
Ichi Yamamoto finds his sixth victory after eight days. Good performance by the Seoul rookie. Looking at the replay, he gets Kaisei high with that double hand attack, Morozuki. He now goes for the pulling Hatakikomi move, but circles around well. Kaisei goes in to grab that part of the Mawashi, but he fends that away and wins by Yorikiri. One important bout here in the first half is between Kotonoaka, six wins, one loss, and Chiono, two and five. These two are also facing off for the first time on top division soil. Kotonoaka is right in Hakuho and Terunofuji's rearview mirror in the race for the Emperor's Cup. But the 23-year-old says he's not thinking of the championship at all and wants to concentrate on executing his brand of sumo. Kotonoaka, little shift to the left after the tachiai. At an awkward stance here, Kotonoaka and Chiono has that left hand outside grip. Kotonoaka trying to swing him away. Staying in contention is Chiono and taking Kotonoaka back. Kotonoaka unable to do his brand of sumo here, but at the end he tries that hurling maneuver to take Chiono down. The Goombai fan of the Gyoji in the middle goes to Kotonoaka, but it seems that there's a Monoi judges conference. Looks like Kotonoaka's left hand touched the dirt first. So the chief judge says the Gumbai went to Kotonoaka, but it's a reversal of decision, and Chiono gets the victory. So Kotonoaka drops to two losses. Chiono improves his record with that reversal of decision and moves to 3 and 5, winning by Uatenage overarm throw. Looking at the replay once again, you can see Chiono, Kotonoaka both in the air, but who lands first? Kotonoaka touching the edge of that dohyo with his left hand. Moving now to Chionokuni 5 and 2 versus Tamawashi also 5 and 2. Tamawashi is clinging on to a 4 to 3 lead in the seesaw game here with Chionokuni. Chionokuni marked his 31st birthday on Saturday by forcing out juryman Kyoktaise. Mongolian Ironman Tamawashi is 3 victories away from attaining a kachikoshi, something he hasn't seen since November. <laughs> Jonokuni flashes head first, thrusts away relentlessly, but look at that. Tamawashi counters with that great pushing maneuver. Also deflecting Chionokuni's moves well. Tamawashi takes the match by Oshidashi, frontal push out. So Tamawashi showing his superiority in pushing and deflecting to attain win number six. It's a clash between two pusher thrusters here. Shimanomi 4 and 3 takes on Kagayaki with the same record. Kagayaki has a 4 to 2 edge in their series. Kayaki goes inside and gets that right hand. Doesn't have any, have any grip on the Mawashi. Shimanomi tries to retaliate. He needs to recover first. Yeah, having that right hand inside and Kagayaki preventing that from happening. But Shimanomi buries his head into Kagayaki's chest and then moves forward and wins by Yorikiri. Good Otsuke forearm attack by Shimanomi. And then at the end, grabbing a Maimitsu frontal grip with his left. Shimanomi. Shimanomi secures a birthday win here and moves up to five wins, three losses.
We now have Teretsuyoshi 2 and 5 going against Myogiryu 1 and 6. Both men hail from the western prefecture of Hyogo. Teretsuyoshi leads by just a 2 to 1 margin over the veteran. Teretsuyoshi immediately shifts to the right after the get go. Myogiryu has no time to think about another strategy, and Teretsuyoshi gets the victory. Miyogiru tried to stop him with a headlock there, but no, Teretsuyoshi kept on going and wins by Yorikiri. Teretsuyoshi improves to 3 and 5. We now have Hidenomi 3 and 4 versus Onosho 2 and 5. Onosho shoved out Hidenomi by Oshidashi in their first matchup on Makunouchi soil last Basho. Hidenomi absorbs Onosho's charge. Digs in that right hand, tries to get something going. Onosho trying to keep on moving around, but uh, Hidenomi stays relaxed and at the end uses that Kotenage arm lock throw to take care of Onosho. Onosho now goes to three consecutive losses from day six. Hidenomi prevails and moves to equilibrium at 4-4. Four and four. It's two apiece in the rivalry between Kiribayama 5-2 and, and Takarafuji 4-3. And Good hit by Kiribayama using that Nodoa throat thrust. Takarafuji still holding his ground. Takarafuji is on the defensive, but they're back dead center. Good initial charge by Kiribayama, but Takarafuji holds his ground. And now look at that left hand inside, right hand outside grip for Takarafuji. This is his favorite stance. And then all he needs to do is just drive forward and say bye-bye. Patient Takarafuji getting the victory there with the Yorikiri frontal force out. So Takarafuji quietly waits to create his favorite stance and delivers for his fifth victory. Yorikiri, Yorikitte.